so let's good. just uh, dive right in. What's the? Give us a summary of what what are the big um, news items from Dexcom this um, EASD 2023. You know, I think there are four big news for Dexcom this uh, ASD. I think three are on the clinical side, right? One is the commissionaire study with seven years now uh, data. We had just the symposium this afternoon that was shared there. Phenomenal results. We can discuss later if you want. There is also the Dexcom 1, first Dexcom 1 study with Jackie Elliott in the UK. That results came out, also were presented today. The third one was the uh, G7 uh, accuracy in uh, pregnant women, type 1, type 2, and gestational in the US with Dr. Levy, mm -hmm. New York. And uh, very exciting news is we're getting ready to launch uh, G7 with Tandem uh, end of this year. So these are big news. We're uh, we're excited and looking forward for this ESD about. It, like you mentioned, you've um, announced uh, Tandem's Control IQ integration with G7 by the end of the year in the US and multiple countries across Europe and. Um, Asia Pacific region. Now it's a year after G G7 was launched, so it has taken quite a, a, a long time. Um, what can you tell us about the the timelines for this, and can you share any specific countries in in Europe course, which are getting there? Of course, I can share with you Wave One because that's what's most certain. You know, Wave Two and Three we're working on. But uh, if I talk about Europe, what yep. matters for us. The great news, it's being launched in UK, Ireland, so it's coming in Sweden, in Germany, and sorry if I miss a country, in Italy, right? And uh, I think I'm missing one more country. I don't remember which one, but definitely those countries were getting uh, uh, the AID connectivity before the end of this year. Yeah. What I what I call the Eurovision Big Five usually, um, the the five countries which get to the Eurovision final automatically. They, yes. They they I tend like they tend to get. Uh, I think G seven was launched in, in in the Big Five as well. So clearly a, a, a similar timeline. Um, and I'm assuming. I mean, we've we've been down this path with G six already. Um, uses up, updating their control IQ pump um, at home at no additional cost and they just work with G7 as they do with G6? Yes, it's about an update, exactly. By the way, later I have big news to share with you on Dexcom 1, but finish your questions on the sure. AID. And I remembered I missed one big thing. Sure, 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 sure. Sounds good. Um, uh, I, I have to mention on, 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 on camera recently uh, Omnipod 5 has been, has been launched in, in the UK and Germany. Um, integrated with, with G6. I haven't heard a, a mention of, of G7 in your announcement about that. I'm assuming you're still working with Inchlet to integrate G7 yes, into exactly. Omnipod 5? This is in the process, and uh, but we still don't have very fixed timeline, right, that I can communicate with you. But definitely this is being worked on. Sounds good. Um, now, uh, on, the, on the subject of, of kind of AID, I've noticed that in, in the States, you, uh, Dexcom has already started um, the process of discontinuing G6 for certain kind of kind of phase one of that process. Is that on the cards for Europe as well? Are you, are, are you still planning on having G6 available for a while? We have one patient that needs G6 connectivity would continue selling G6. Yeah. And I don't think in the US it's been discontinuation. It's We're just faced, still yeah. I think they eventually the objective ideally is to move patient, patient users of G6 right. to G7, but you need full connectivity of G7 like the G6 platform. No, definitely we're committed to our uh, users and that, and this is more important than anything else. And it's about Dexcom 1. So uh, yeah. I, I, I've spoken to... It's, it's, it's today that happens. So it's fresh from the press. 
we're uh, today we launched optional calibration on Dexcom one. This was a feature that was missing, but we listened to our users and this was a, a demand. So today, any user of Dexcom one can update their app and they will get optional calibration available. So that makes it so that was a feature that uh, Dexcom one didn't have exactly. uh, G6, G7 had that, but uh, exactly. it's coming to Dexcom one in all regions. All regions. Uh, today. Today, today. That's why I told you it's a, it's a big one. And I I forgot mentioning it. That's 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 great. Um, on on Dexcom one, big differentiators between one and the 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 G line of products is share follow capabilities yes. to follow someone. Um, your, your your main competitor has has recently added real time connectivity to the main kind of product and um, a Dexcom one uh, obviously not having remote um, capabilities I, I hear from a lot of users that it's it's kind of n not the best product for, especially for children living with diabetes because uh, remote connectivity is key um, any plans to add share or follow capabilities to Dexcom one just like you did with um, calibrations listening to users or are you committed to that being just a um, G line feature. I can answer you in what I can answer you are two things. One is we're committed and we're like we've always been to listen to users. That's how we thrive. That's how our purpose is, right? Our North Star is what can we do better, right? To live up to the expectations of our users and serve more people with diabetes. Yeah. Second, you said it. You said it also in your video, short video about Libre Two, right? You did a short video about Libre Two become having a CGM. Yeah, definitely, we are there to listen to our users and ensure we bring what's best for them. Sounds good. Uh, I take that as we thinking about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, now, uh, so j just to close off, I, I did want to touch on something unrelated to EASD directly, um, something that's been in, in the press recently uh, in the UK uh, following uh, government's changes in their environmental policy. I just wanted to kind of check in on how companies are doing uh, when it comes to their environmental commitments. So um, just, just like really openly, uh, could you give us an update on where you are with your um, climate agenda? And are you still committed to reducing the carbon uh, footprint of CGM? Uh, you know, I one thing, uh, I truly want to leave the world for my kids. I have two young kids in a better place than where my parents left it yeah. for me. But this is me personally, but, I, but I'm part of this company that definitely shares this vision, right? Back in 2021, a part of our commitment, Dexcom's commitment to sustainability, we acquired the sustainability uh, software that allowed us to do an inventory of our global uh, gas emissions uh, footprint, right? Yeah. And uh, that allowed us for the first time to really know what our, uh, what our uh, carbon emissions uh, impact is as a company across yeah. the globe and we've put this next year we're going to have targets that we're going to meet but even before that Dexcom has been committed because our our I what we aspire for is establishing getting to the three R's I call them the three R's which are all our products to be repurposed recycled or reused right and if we take the example of the g7 which dates back right from the first stage of development we thought of sustainability so if you look today at the g7 versus the g6 camille it has 20 percent the applicator has 20 percent less plastic the packaging between uh, plastic and paper is more than 50 i think it's around 56 percent has less weight in plastic and this plus we optimized our shipping uh capabilities by condensing the pellets 
which allowed us to cut by one third the carbon impact per shipment right. on the G7. And what I can assure you, we are committed to sustainability irrespective of what governments law. We're already piloting in one country in Europe a recycling plan where there is no law for it. And second is we are uh, working in our product development. What can we bring things that can definitely ensure the decreasing the waste of our products? No, I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. That's, that's, that's phenomenal. Um, I lied. That wasn't the final question. My very final question uh, is uh, something is I had. Time. I'm enjoying it. Something, uh, something I, I had earlier, and I just forgot to mention it. Um, and you were probably expecting this question. Um, an update to the direct to watch capability is that still you guys still working on that? So you I can... honestly didn't expect it, but yes, I can tell you that we're definitely working seriously. Yeah that we're able to look at the G7 and what we do there for the direct too much. Uh, but no uh, timelines as of, as of EASD 2023? No, otherwise I would have told you, but we're, again, we listen to our users.